All right, peeps. <laughs> what you're seeing here is an updated image on the Kickstarter of Tournament of Fishing. This is a crazy world we're living in. They had to change this image because the first image they used was apparently racist. Let me jump to show you what it used to look like and do you think it's racist? This is going to go on a little crazy journey. So let's have a see what it looked like. Now, BGG user Adam Brocker here was posting in the comments of the Kickstarter saying that this was the original image that they pulled. And the racist thing here is not the chat down here. It's actually the image, the artwork. And it's the fact that he's the frog's right hand is the thumb and the first finger, the circle creating the OK sign. Is this racist? I mean, it's upside down. It's not held in the air. And like, if you put two fingers up to say F you, but you turn them round, it becomes victory. So is it upside? Is it like, is it OK going down a racist thing? But you might be going, hey, lipstick, is the OK sign actually racist? Well, apparently it's white supremacy. Dear God. <laughs> this is hilarious. Let's just have a quick look at somebody else who's flagged this up. Now on Twitter, Sousa at 425 Suzanne. So there's a game on Kickstarter being run by the publisher who just threatened to make me a good time. Who's got a frog throwing the white power symbol on the rule book cover just awful. If you don't get the symbology used here, you've missed the last five years. Look, she's even put stars for white power as if this is going to get flagged if she writes the word white power in. Okay, so I, I must have missed this in the last five years because I have no idea what you're talking about. And doesn't a frog have in this picture have four, five, four fingers and the okay symbol needs to have five years. Just quickly, where's this come from? Okay, we're at the NPR organization, National Security. The OK hand symbol is now listed as a symbol of hate. Are you kidding me? America's gone crazy. It's gone absolutely crazy. <laughs> okay, the OK hand gesture commonly seems a way of indicating that all is well has now been classified as something else a symbol of hate are you kidding me um i don't think this is law this is just ridiculous this is not law the adf the anti def Defamination League, a Jewish civil rights organization. So th this isn't even legal. This is just an organization saying stuff is offensive. Right, so they've included the index finger to the thumb. So you don't need potentially fingers. If you've got the thumb and the finger, that's that can be classed as racist. And um, some corners of the internet have associated with white supremacy and the far right. Now, it says that Oren Siegel, director of this extremism, told them that for years on 4chan and 8chan, the OK sign has been used, has been deployed in memes and other images promoting hate. Given the number of white supremacists who have adopted it, they said they can now carry various message well excuse me but just because someone's using something doesn't mean that what they're using becomes hate dear god this is ridiculous so you're telling me if a supremacist group all go around wearing pink handbags that you are going to make pin pink handbags a symbol of hate so that if you see a kickstarter and there is a frog with a pink handbag, you're going to call it racist? Well, on top, well, it's been changed. They don't want to, you know, obviously offend anybody even though, even if there's, it isn't, isn't an actual law. But let me know in the comments down below, peeps. What do you think of the OK sign being white supremacist? It's been absolutely outrageous, isn't it? 
Anyway, I just thought it was an interesting story that I found covering this Kickstarter. And um, yeah, I really want to know what you think about it. Because for me, it's absolutely ludicrous. And honestly, these people need to get a proper job. So on that, peeps, thank you so much for listening. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember, we cover Kickstarters and crowdfunding games here. So give it a subscribe and hit that bell. You've been listening to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy. You take care, stay safe, and I hope everything is okay.